Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, this will be the last episode we're going to be doing in Alaska for probably a fair bit of time. And I got the special one for you guys. Uh, this is Operation Yellow Flamingo. Uh, so, Operation Yellow Flamingo is us doing Pluck the Stuck Trailer. The Stuck Truck, sorry. Which implies, let me actually find it down here. Start tracking. Deliver the parking one times Dairy Longhorn 3194, which is down in this ditch. Uh, for this, we have uh, two trucks already pre uh, brought here by yours truly. Uh, first and foremost, we have the International Low Star 1700 with the upgraded suspension and uh, the big tires, which deal a lot better with snow now. Uh, and with the full service cab in case we need to refuel or um, repair. And more importantly, we have the, let's do change truck, we have the Caterpillar 745C uh, for all the horsepower we need with the double power winch. I have no idea how we're going to be getting this thing out. It's, I, I mean, I, the obvious way would be straight up and out, but I'm not sure if we have the power for it. I think downstream we have an option to get up here easier. But uh, let's let's just uh, let's just look around for a bit, and we can uh, come back here when we have a battle plan. But yeah, this looks entirely the best option. I'm not sure this goes like 90 degrees, and I I just. I haven't played with this enough to know its capabilities, so uh, you'll excuse me if I'm uh, gonna take the safe route. This is one of the heaviest heavy trucks that I have, with the hugest tires in the arsenal. However, uh, I've put it on sideburn just because the only thing that can actually transfer is one container or two cargo slots, which isn't really what I was looking for, I was really hoping this can handle... Um, at the very least, a uh, semi-trailer, I kind of wanted it to handle um, high saddle, oversized loads, but apparently that's not a thing. But we can still use its uh, power for pulling uh, and huge size for just, uh, well, not exactly fording this river per se, but just uh, going up this river and uh, trying to winch out and recover that uh, dairy longhorn. That itself will be something that we'll be using for our heavy loads. Either way, let's uh, get closer up and hope that uh, this isn't too deep. I'm not sure what's the dangerous water level threshold for uh, this truck, but well, apparently it's not uh, that low, plus, this isn't all that deep. Uh, let's, uh, let's turn around. We'll be dragging it back. I'm kind of disappointed that there are no customization options, but I guess due to licensing issues, uh, this cat uh, kind of requires uh, it to stay in stock form. So stock yellow, nothing else, and no useless accessories on it. well enough. Let's uh, grab this and uh, head out. Actually, let's check it and see if we can. Can we? Let's see if we can click on it. I don't think we can click on it, can we? Yeah, we can. So, broken engine, broken transmission, broken uh, suspension, and unfueled. Okay, for the sake of uh, making this easier for us, let's uh, switch over to the um, uh, to the low star and let's get this down there. Uh, might as well get everything repaired because I have seen when we actually recovered that uh, CAT 45 c that a broken end truck can produce a hell of a lot of uh, friction on the ground. Make it a hell of a lot uh, harder to um, actually drag away. 
but thankfully we have this uh, Lodestar, which is com comes uh, with the full stock service cab. Uh, which, oh, wow, doesn't actually have enough. So let's do this. Let's uh, repair the engine tank. Let's repair the gearbox. Let's repair the engine. And whatever else that we can, let's repair the suspension. That actually wasn't enough. Interesting. Anyways, uh, let's also refuel once we're here. Uh, refuel the dirty... Nope, refuel the longhorn from the load star. Just uh, fuel everything up. Uh, the low star we can uh, entirely recover, not a, not a big issue, but we're going to be doing that after, just so we don't suffer through some uh, map loads. So let's switch over to the caterpillar. Let's uh, winch this, which now should uh, be entirely easier for us, because their longhorn engine will be working with us instead of against us. Although... Yeah, there we go, starting engine, so it does work. Let's uh, winch this just a little bit closer. Wow, this, uh, this cat has absolutely zero issues. It just goes. It isn't very fast, though. Don't get me wrong, it's not very fast, but it does go. And does not care about any big rocks. I was gonna... Uh, come on, you can do this. You can totally do this. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. And that will just uh, come with us. <laughs> cool. I'm kind of glad that I bought this out. Because I don't think I actually had much options. I have a few strong trucks, but I don't think I could actually pull that out. Even uh, getting this cat initially uh, out, we required our top, uh, top geared uh, BM, um, uh, BMB something. I forgot what it's called. Uh, but the Royal uh, heavy truck, BM17. That's what it's called, the Royal BM17. So yeah, we actually required that, and it was. Oh, Hard, hard, hard uh, pull. I'm kind of hoping that uh, this will be an easier job with the cat, and it probably is. I mean, uphill with cargo, and this is just going. Again, not very fast, but it's going, and that's what we want to happen. Let's see if we can turn around. I guess, yeah, I guess we're clear. Let's uh, set up uh, some uh, map markers. Where are we supposed to be taking this? Uh, warehouse? No, not their house. We don't care about warehouse. We are interested in the quest, which is called Pluck the Stuck Truck. It's there, so that means we'll just, yeah, head straight up this uh, road. Luckily, we uh, made this bridge, so we will have an easier job. And just drop it off at the warehouse here. Well, not exactly warehouse. Yeah, actually our parking. Yeah, okay, this is bugging out, but I guess we are getting the point of it. I'm glad we get some, got some use out of this. I was really disappointed initially with uh, saying that we cannot mount a uh, high saddle. That was what I was actually wanting from my uh, new heavy truck because I kind of dislike the P12 and the P16, as I mentioned in some of the um, previous episodes. Just because uh, they get stuck on terrain more than I think they should. This uh, looks absolutely fantastic for crossing any kind of uh, off road terrain. But, sadly, it's limited to recovery options, which, of which, don't get me wrong, there are still a hell of a lot in the Russia map, but it's gonna be, I think, probably another, um, 40 episodes, maybe a bit more, 50 episodes, until we actually get to, uh, Russia, to actually get the use out of the cat to tow and recover vehicles. Ugh, 
And yeah, I'm sorry. This is just handling really weirdly, just because it seems like... I don't know, it seems like it's turning... Just to the way the, the cab and the axles work, it seems to be turning... I don't know, around the middle vehicle instead of around the front vehicle. It's it's really hard to explain. Of course, uh, most of, the, of course, well, I think all of the trucks in the game have uh, front steering. But this just feels uh, weird. That's why you see me just smacking it on things. Right side, I think we should uh, have absolutely all the upgrades for the Dairy Longhorn. I will take you guys through the customization options for it. Uh, we are barely level 14, I think, maybe 15. No, nope, level 14. So we are about 10 levels away, which is a hell of a lot, uh, until uh, the next viable heavy truck, the other Dairy Horn something something, don't really exactly know the numbers right now. And uh, yeah, this uh, recoverable truck that we're doing, getting back to home, to our garage right now, will probably be my heavy truck of choice, with, with which I will... Uh, be uh, transporting all of my uh, heavy loads unless uh, it doesn't have a high saddle but I'm, I'm sure it has a side the high saddle I'm pretty sure it has a high saddle it should have a high saddle I'll be super sad if it doesn't have a high saddle but I think it does Let's uh, park this in and then have a look at it. There we go. Great, I thought it'd be easier to get some help here than to pass up the chain and wait for another truck to arrive, not to mention the paperwork. Thanks for your help. I have an idea how delivering a truck to a guy that actually gets us the truck, but oh well. Kind of wish that had been uh, written a bit differently. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's recover this. Go to the garage, yes. Uh, let's move over to what we still have out there, the Lodestar. Yep, let's recover this. And then let's move to the Dairy Longhorn and recover this. Let's put these back into storage and let's have a look at the Dairy Longhorn 3194. So, engine wise, uh, we don't have the last engine? Hmm. Well, we'll uh, get that sorted before we head back to Michigan with it, but uh, this would produce an A uh, power to weight ratio, which is pretty cool. Uh, it uses stock gearboxes, not the advanced special or something, so that's interesting. Um, given that we'll be pulling loads with this, I kind of feel that we should be getting the off road gearbox for it. Uh, it only has a stock suspension, which I guess is fine enough because it comes with 52 inch chains, uh, tires, sorry. And we will probably just take the off-road tires, uh, even though the stats are identical. I just feel that, uh, yeah, this is the 52 inch OHD2 chains. This is the three chain. Uh, a three unchained. So usually I've seen that with these trucks there is a measure of um, usually the chains are specifically better for ice, but you shouldn't use them if you don't if you're not going with them on icy roads and care about that. So even that we'll be back at Michigan, we'll put on the 52 inches uh, OHD threes, also the highways because we were not being going on highways. Uh, let's uh, check up the winch. We'll use probably the twin motor heavy. I think it's about the same range as uh, the stock heavy. It'd be nice to have the advanced heavy, but that's a far ways off. 
Uh, given that we'll be hauling loads, uh, honestly, this is probably what we want. Uh, spare wheel, no, we don't really care about it, not that we have it until level 20. And there we go, this is exactly what we require from it, a high and a low saddle. We'll fit it with a high saddle, which more or less is going to tie in exactly with the first thing we're going to be doing in uh, the next episode, which is going back to Michigan. Uh, and carrying a construction rig, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, snorkel. Uh, sure, let's grab uh, this. Not that we have anything else unlocked, but this, this will just allow us to uh, go into some deeper water. Eventually, we'll. Uh, eventually, we'll uh, <laughs> get to the wedge cap, but that's level 18. I don't know why the intake air filter is even here. To be fair, it, this is so, I mean, this is almost barely, I think, higher, and this is already accessible and it's higher than, either way, it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, have a bit of fun with the visuals, because this is one of the trucks we'll be having for a very long time at this point. Um, let's stick with this, just because it gets the color of the actual truck. Uh, let's not get anything comical on it. Yep, we don't care about it. Uh, I guess we could do the angle sun visor, that looks nice. Uh, mud flaps, nothing available. We will not put any thing on it. And there's a lot of uh, upgrades here. I think only one of them actually looks really cool. And that's a heavy duty pipe, but that's uh, actually heavy duty pipe and the stock one looks identical. So we'll just keep that. We'll not get the heavy duty bumper. And rims wise, just two standard rims. I guess these one looks prettier. prettier. Color-wise, uh, we have some camo colors here, which are pretty freaking cool, if I were to say that myself. I mean, this is a military truck, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, you know what? I think it'd be really cool to use the old white, um, old white on it. That looks nice. That looks pretty freaking sweet. Although I've been using the, you know, desert for most of my trucks, that looks really, really pretty cool. Just because we got it from Alaska and, you know, you, you think it'd be white colored uh, to blend in with the snow. But either way, this is the Larry Longhorn uh, 3194. We'll be retaining this. Uh, and uh, at this point, yeah, I think we should uh, just uh, check out where that upgrade for it is uh, on the Alaska. And maybe spend the rest of this episode uh, getting that engine for it, just to make sure we have everything settled and arranged. Uh, in that case, give me just uh, two seconds, I'll be right with you. One, two, that was two seconds, and I found out where we should be getting that engine from. Uh, it's in White Valley. Uh, we did kind of miss it, I guess. Uh, should be somewhere around here. I did uh, fully upgrade the Hummer, which at this point is better than the Chevrolet we start off with. And that's what I'm going to be using. You'll note that this has uh, the stock, uh, well not the stock, but the mud tires. Just as I've been uh, talking before, that unless you actually are roading, the mud tires on some vehicles are, well, actually on most vehicles, uh, are better for uh, mud and traction than um, than the chained ones. The chained ones, actually, I've seen that most of the times come with uh, some um, downsides. So let's head out and uh, grab that engine and finish up the uh, yellow uh, flamingo op. I know I haven't uh, been using uh, any of these op names, but I kind of should. They're fun. I played with the chain tires just a, a bit before when I was getting some of the last upgrades uh, on uh, Alaska. But 
uh, yeah, it does feel the motor is just digging a lot better and get a lot better traction on the mud than the chain tires, at least for the Hummer. Uh, okay. So it should be somewhere around here. Let's uh, take it easy and see if we can find it. have the autonomous cut on this I might have kept the heavy uh, heavy winch on it huh. so tipping over would be bad in uh, the Hummer right now I think now if only I'd have just a bit better traction through this that'd be nice Uh, in case you guys are wondering, uh, I'm using a website, uh, I think it's called Modrunners. Uh, nope, maprunner.info. Uh, in case you guys want to see where these are, personally I don't particularly care that much for the hidden things because this is literally not even, um, you know, something that you could easily find. It's just somewhere in the dark, right? So I don't really care much for that. That's why I'm using a map. Did I say map runner? Yeah, map, run, map runner info to find these. So this is the Westline V12 M900, which is by far the last thing that we have to get in Alaska. That being said, I think it's uh, wise at this point just to recover this pack up all my trucks make sure we don't have any extra trucks left over in the net uh, in the north port garage oh this is empty and that marks our adventure of Alaska for the moment we are turning to Michigan we are turning to Black River Smithville Dam Island Lake and Drummond Island all those cool things um, and I think we will be going with uh, some light entry, probably just finishing up some of the tasks in Smithville Dam. We have just a few which are kind of easy to do, like a Michigan Trail and uh, more fuel, to deliver some fuel to the Forcer House. We'll uh, just start uh, knocking these out and then heading over to the main things still left for us, like power lines. Deliver to Fallen Pole 1, Fallen Pole 2, and Fallen Pole 3, Metal Beams. These are times 2, so this is a 6 load, which is gonna be... I uh, kinda wish I could do it in one go. Maybe we'll get... Uh, maybe we'll actually use the um, Twin Steer with a trailer. That'd be nice, just to get it all solved in one go. Either way, we'll uh, start knocking these out and finishing up the... Actually, we're not that far off, right? To finish up the Michigan uh, quest line. In case, uh, we'll make this episode a bit of a shorter one. Uh, so thank you guys for uh, watching. I hope you guys enjoy the content I'm uh, putting out. Uh, if you like this video, uh, like it down below. You have a little like button, push it, it'll like the video. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel. I put out uh, these videos on uh, SnowRunner daily. And uh, I will be starting up a new series soon enough, but I don't know exactly what yet, but for sure it'll probably be uh, something not snowrunnery. So I'm sorry if you're looking for more uh, vehicle-like uh, things for me. In any way, shape or form, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below if you like this uh, sort of uh, chill content, and I will see you guys in the next one.